Hamas has the right to fire those rockets, in my opinion. I understand what Amnesty International says. They're unguided rockets, therefore they are indiscriminate, and therefore they're illegal. I don't want to get into the technicalities there. If you want me to get into the technicalities, I can. In my opinion, they have the right to fire those rockets. Well, just quickly, I know in your book you make yeah. the point. You know, the, the ability of the rocket to be precisely targeted mm -hmm. is a relative concept. So if you're comparing it to these highly sophisticated weapons that the Americans and the Israelis have, mm -hmm. yeah, you can't target them that way. Uh, but that, as you make the point, that, of that, that means that, only rich countries exactly, are going to be able to fire rockets. Exactly, so. exactly. But there's a second point. What you said, exactly. In effect, it means poor people have no right to resist uh, uh, foreign invasions and foreign assaults. When, Pal when Palestinians, who are under a merciless, inhuman, immoral and illegal siege for seven years when 95 percent of the drinking water is not fit for human consumption when nobody in the world cares when they keep signing agreements at the end of each of these rounds which says the blockade is going to be lifted including the agreement that was signed after protective edge the blockade would be lifted the blockade is never lifted the illegal immoral and inhuman siege continues when parents have to poison their children each day by giving them water which they know is not fit for human consumption, then you're telling me that Palestinians can't fire symbolic symbols of resistance, notional symbols of resistance, namely these enhanced fireworks, which are actually more a message to the world than they are inflicting damage on Israelis. It's SOS, help us. No, they have that right. To me, it's a little bit unclear how you can claim that movements for self-determination have the right to use armed force to end their, uh, to win their right of self-determination. That's international law. But then tell me, every time they use a weapon, the weapon is illegal. They're not allowed to use it. That doesn't make much sense to me.